Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world. I am coming to you with a general message. These are going to be free star messages. This could resonate whatever sign you are, whatever you have, whatever placement in your chart. Please do not force any message to fit. Please be reminded that gender roles could be reversed. And this message could be for you, or it could be for somebody in your environment at this time. Messages for the collective, please. Okay, we have castle number 30. It's time for healing, not war. Somebody could be wanting to heal some sort of rift between you and them. You could have been going at it with a person or had some sort of odds between you and someone. Number six, dragons, slay them all. Very conflicting energies. Okay, get two more. Somebody definitely could want to heal something or you could want to heal something. I'm just getting a dropping of the swords. I'm getting five of swords energy with this. If there was any sort of games being played, any sort of hostilities, I'm getting somebody wants to put down the swords. But then in contrast, there could be somebody here who still wants to fight or still wants to hold some sort of stance, still wants to be... You know, in control. Stand their ground. Being stubborn to let something go, possibly. Number eight, wings. You never needed those wings to fly. One more, please. One more. One more. This is the Believe in Your Own Magic deck. Number 20, Lighthouse. Don't doubt your own worth. I am always enough. Number 20, for some of you, you're needing to reconnect with self or have faith or renew your faith in yourself here. Some of you, there could be some sort of self-doubt that's creeping in for something. This doesn't necessarily have to be about this, the other two previous cards that I've got here. There's some sort of rift that you have between somebody. Somebody doesn't want to let something go. Somebody could be being very stubborn. Somebody could be trying to hold their stance or continue this, this back and forth. This game, if there was any games, mind games being played, I'm getting five of swords. This could be an air sign, a Gemini, or a Libra, or an Aquarius. But there's also a sense of you to renew a sense of renewing confidence here. It could be that you're feeling the need to, you know, give to yourself. You could have, there could have been something that could have knocked your confidence. This could directly be this situation that's knocked your confidence. You could have dealt with somebody who's been quite combative, who sort of knocked you down in some way, shape or form. And you're having to rise above something. You, know, you see how she's, you know, flying out of that tower. Could be dealing with a Scorpio here. You're escaping some sort of tower here, but you're having to work on yourself, possibly feeding to yourself after feeling you've been knocked somehow. Lioness, you've earned all your stripes. This could have been a situation. Number 13 could be significant. I was going to say certificate. That could be significant for somebody. Um, you definitely have to, whoever I'm speaking to, there's something about you... Taking the experience and running with it, taking the experience and moving forward and, you know, treating it as a lesson, even if it has been particularly difficult for you. Let's get some clarifying energy here. <clears throat> Castle and dragon. Let's see what this is. Nine of wands in the reverse. Somebody's tired of fighting. Somebody's tired of being combative. This could be you. This could be somebody else. For some of you, this could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Like I say, air sign energy or fire energy. Scorpio energy also. You could be any of these signs. You could be dealing with any of these signs. Six of pentacles. I'm just getting a tit for tat energy. Somebody's tired of the tit for tat. The, the back and forth, the, the give and taking, give and taking. That's the energy I'm getting off that. The full card. I feel like you just, I mean, I'm going to put yourself where you go, but I'm going to speak to you as if this is you. You could be feeling like it's just so outdated, so tedious. 
you just don't see a point in it. You just feel like, what is this for now? With the four cards in the reverse. Why are we back and forthing? Why are we doing this still? Why are we continuing on this merry-go-round? It's almost like you just find it very petty, very juvenile sort of behaviour. You're over it. You're over it. You're wanting to be independent here and elevate past this situation here. Four of Swords. If you were in some sort of thinking period, again, I'm getting air sign energy, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. You could be any of those signs. If you were in some sort of thought process or thinking about this, this, this could have dominated quite a lot of your thoughts because I'm getting a lot of air energy. This has taken up a lot of energy in order to be in this rift, this, this, this back and forth with whoever this is. And I feel like you want to break away and be independent from this here. I feel like there's a sense, it could be you, it could be somebody else. There's a need for you, or you're, you're desiring to move into this independent energy where you're possibly working on yourself. You could want to give to other things. You could want to invest in other things. You could want to be fo focusing on your money, you know, helping things to grow in your environment here. Have some sort of elevation because you're just tired. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're tired of this back and forth. You're tired of fighting here. Who is this other person? Two of Pentacles, somebody who you've been going back and forth with. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Wow. In the reverse. Somebody who you've been going back and forth with. There could have been a lot of arguing. This, this is a toxic relationship. Queen of Wands, King of Wands both came out together in the reverse. These are counterparts, but in their shadow energy. This is an energy of two people being at odds. This is a, an energy of, you know, two people having ulterior motives for being in this connection. This is an energy of two egotistical people, two very, two very shadow type of energies stuck in their ego, you know, trying to get one up on the other type of energy, possibly a lot of jealousy between the two of you, a lot of back and forth, a lot of game playing, a lot of, you know, using passion possibly to manipulate the situation. There's a lot of that going on in this situation. And to be honest with you, somebody in this connection is getting tired of this back and forth with that two of pentacles. Four of cups temperance in the reverse there's no balance here this is something that is particularly toxic that needs to be released okay with that world card pop popping out there at the back something needs to end here i don't think this is healthy for either of you in this situation here okay because we've got the four of cups in the reverse we've got the temperance here in the reverse this is causing a lot of unrest this is causing people to have resentment towards each other both ways but it could be a connection that's really passionate, something that's based on lust possibly here. So somebody could be struggling to let go of this. What is this? Wings and lighthouse. Don't doubt your own worth. You never needed those wings to fly. This could be for the person who's struggling, struggling to get away from this. The emperor. Three of Cups and the Moon. For some of you, this could be a father figure, baby dad, baby mom. Take it as it resonates here. Some of you, somebody has got some sort of hidden um, life, party life, after hours type of life. I don't know why I just got that from that energy. The Moon, the Three of Cups. Somebody could like to party, go out, drink here this could be a father figure an aries pisces king of swords somebody could be particularly cold towards you somebody could try to I, I just get an energy of somebody could be trying to make you jealous and that totally correlates you're tired of this person putting you in the competition with other people you're tired of this, this person juggling you. You're tired of the toxicity here. This could be a person who you have family with, okay? Or you have some sort of long-standing relationship with. But this is a very toxic relationship, very unstable relationship. This person could be cold towards you, 
but likes to indulge in third parties going out, enjoying that, you know, hot boy summer, hot girl summer type of life, living their best life. Tower card would be a Scorpio. You're realising something. The sun, the empress, you're realising your worth. That's what it is. The devil card is in the reverse again. You're realising that this is just toxic and it needs to be released, whatever attachment that you have to this person. And quite frankly, you're realising that this is not where it resides. Your worth does not reside in this relationship here. You're actually having a breakthrough. You're realising your worth. That you could be happier independently from this person. I'm not saying that who you or whoever I'm speaking to is an angel or a saint. Or somebody who has done no wrong. Because I see both toxicity on both sides. One could be triggering the other. The other could be getting back. It's just a petty energy. It possibly started off as a connection that could have been, you know, equal with the Six of Pentacles here. But it's turned into something that's just very messy, very turbulent, no peace here, cold, competition, other people behind the shadows, somebody who likes to indulge in partying, somebody who likes to indulge in things under the moon with multiple people. Take that as it resonates. Could be anything in between with that. And you're actually realising your worth. The hermit in the reverse. Ten of swords. Everything is fine in the reverse. Five of wands is in the reverse. You want to come out of this state. You feel in the dark of this person. You feel you feel like this is not making you happy. Like this is this is just causing a lot of pain. This is causing a lot of darkness. This is causing a lot of, you know, hidden things. You just feel like you don't know where you're at with this person, with that moon card, the hermit card. This person could be keeping a lot from you, keeping you in the dark. And this is causing this, this situation to, to feel like a betrayal to you. Five of Wands. For some of you, you just feel this person's making you feel insecure being in this state of competition. But at the same time, it's almost like they don't want to leave you at the same time because you're codependent on each other. Give me one for the king and the queen of wands in the reverse. High priestess in the reverse. Secrets being revealed on both parts. The chariot card in the reverse. Sorry, guys. Chariot card in the reverse. Stagnancy. You're just both going to have to... There's going to be a conversation that's going to come up. Things are going to be revealed in this situation. Some sort of truth about this connection here. You know, I feel like you're just going to have that realisation that this actually is not, is not conducive to either one of you. The world card. This is going to come to an end. Queen of Cups. And you're going to be concentrating on yourself. No longer moving forward with this. Eight of Wands here in the reverse. Okay. For some of you, this has been part of your life for a considerable amount of time. You possibly had a lot of love for this person and you still will remain to have a lot of love for this person as you close out this cycle. But there's going to be some sort of truth that's going to come to light here about the, his, the I was going to say history of the situation. Could be, could be past things that come up in, in a conversation between you and this person. But it could be that you're just going to have some sort of truth about the direction and the steps forward, you know. And I feel like both of you, need to do work individually here and whoever i'm speaking to you're actually realizing your worth here if there's a person who's treated you as if you're an option who's you know degraded you or you know slept on you or been out there just indulging in multiple people putting you in some sort of competition being cold towards you dangling dangling a carrot in front of you dangling you on some sort of string like you're, you don't deserve to be treated better, then there's a change. Know your worth. Don't doubt your worth. 
which is what we started with. Collective, I hope that that helped. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. But until next time, I will see you soon. You take care. Bye.